Hey guys, I'm Lucas and welcome to K-News episode 56 about the upcoming Earth Observing Friday. What? Well, I made that up, but Vega and Atlas V launch a total of 6 observing satellites today and I'll tell you what they are good for. Before I go on, however, let me also mention China's second space station, Tiangong 2, which launched just yesterday on top of a Long March 2F rocket. The station is modular, which means it can be expanded in size by docking more parts to it in the future. I kind of missed the launch and will go into more detail in October when the first Taikonauts launch and visit it. Vega is Europe's smallest launcher and is usually used to deliver small satellites into a polar orbit. It has three solid propellant stages, followed by a fourth liquid upper stage carrying the payload. These also called solid rocket motors are surprisingly similar to fireworks because inside the housing is nothing but a solid fuel mixture with a hollow tube inside. This tube is where the fuel ignites and burns from the inside to the outside. Now an interesting fact is that although there is no way to control the thrust directly, it can be still varied during flight. This is done by differently shaped tubes. A star shape for example burns quickly in the beginning and as it loses surface area it also loses thrust. This is because less and less propellant is exposed to the flame. Atlas V will launch in its 401 configuration, featuring a 4 meter wide fairing and no strap on boosters this time. Centaur is as usual its second stage and on top is the payload. Vega is the first to launch in the evening locally or at 1.43 UTC from the Guiana Space Center. It will as mentioned head north to first achieve a so called sun synchronous orbit at 500 km. Such an orbit is typically used for Earth observing satellites because the spacecraft stays in sync with the Sun. This means the Sun will always be in the same spot when it flies by a certain location. Like that the data is much more easy to use since new data can be compared to the old one directly. Atlas V will launch a few hours later from the Vandenberg Air Force Base at 1830 UTC. Like Vega it will head for a polar orbit but aim south because similar orbits can be reached from two sides of the planet. Vega launches here on the left and Atlas on the right. On board is Worldview 4, a commercial observation satellite with an incredibly high resolution of 31 cm. This means it could make out a football laying on the ground. However, this is only the case directly below the satellite. The resolution gets 10 times worse pointing at the horizon for example due to the longer distance and shallower angle. Just by the way, Worldview 4 has a 3.2 terabyte big solid state drive to save its data which is of course much more reliable than what we use in our PCs since it will stay in orbit at 617 km for up to 12 years. Now before I go on let me give a shout out to my patrons. These people decided to support my monthly crowdfunding campaign and although it's optional it helps and motivates a lot, thanks. Vega's payload consists of 5 satellites. The first 4 are Skynet, uh, I mean Skyset 4, 5, 6 and 7, launching for Google's company Terra Bella, which is Italian for Beautiful Earth. These will join their constellation at 500 km, which aims to provide video footage of our globe to study the traffic from above. This has of course many use cases like simply improving our infrastructure, but could in future also be used to get a continuous live stream from certain areas. For this however much more satellites are needed since each of them only stays above a certain area for less than a minute. The bigger satellite Vega carries is PeruSat-1 and is as the name indicates launched for the Peruvian Space Agency. It is their first ever earth observing satellite and will be placed a little higher at almost 700 km. From there it will also take nice pictures but mostly be used for science. Ok, that shall conclude episode 56 about Vega and Atlas V and I hope to see you next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.